Today, AJ and I are gonna choose which FNAF characters best answered Family Feud style prompts. And then you decided who had the better answer. The points are based off percentages and the person with the most points at the end wins. AJ, are you ready? Yes! All right, so for our first prompt of today, which animatronic is most likely to lock themselves out of their own home? And I will allow you to go first. Glamrock Freddy. He's a little ditzy, you know. I feel like he would definitely do that many times. I mean, he keeps getting stuck in the damn freezer. For me, my answer would be Ned Bear, because he's an idiot. <laughs> Strange to danger. Now let's see what the people voted for. The viewers voted and Ned Bear won, which means I won that poll. The Glam Daddy's always getting locked in the freezer. I guess the people just didn't see that. Which means I get 75 points and AJ only gets 12. Which animatronic is most likely to become a professional wrestler? And since I get to go first this round, I think it would be Montgomery Gator. As you've seen his room, he's putting things through tables, just like they do on WWE. I'm gonna say the blob. Did you see how he just picked up Burn Trap by the neck? Just, just scooped him up and, you know, he probably throat slammed him into a wall or something like that. I think he'd be pretty good at it too. Give Monty Gator a run for his money. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Let's see <laughs> what the audience chose. By a massive 86%, it looks like I won that one again. Dang it, no one wants to get throat slammed by the blob. I don't think an amalgamation of wires in mesh could be a professional wrestler. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Which animatronic is most likely to lie so they can get free cake? You know who I think would lie about their birthday to get get some get some nice cake and stuff like that? Who you got? I think Roxy. I think Roxy would actually be like, it's my birthday, love me, give me cake. Come on, snap, snap, get it over here. Thank you. Just because she felt like cake that day. I'm going with Glamrock Chica. <laughs> I mean, look, she eats food out of the trash. Of course she's going to lie to get free cake. Let's see what the people voted for. Looks like people once again sided with me with Glamrock Chica at 81%. Roxy, Roxy won that cake too. She wants the carrot cake. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Which animatronic is most likely to scream in the middle of a horror movie? I am going with Helpy. We've all seen the Hup 1 and 2 gameplay and Helpy screams all the time. You know who I think might be a little bit pedantic and a little bit sensitive to the possibility of jump scares? I don't know what happened those words mean. Bruh, I think Sun would be screaming in a horror movie, you know? That poor guy, that poor sunny bright guy seeing uh, horror and gore and death would probably send him screaming for the damn hills. Let's see what the audience shows. AJ, looks like you won that round. Finally! Daycare attendant Sun getting 77% of the vote. Hell yeah, I guess they didn't uh, they they didn't ever want to hear Helpy screaming again. Especially after Help wanted to. Which animatronic is most likely to cheat at a board game? Who is a sneaky snag. Nicky Nicky snag. I think Roxy again would definitely cheat in a board game. She's gotta be number one. The animatronic that I think would cheat in a board game, Balloon Boy, because he keeps stealing all the goddamn double A batteries. <laughs> Is a sneaky snack. Who had the better answer? Let's see what you guys voted for. And it looks like I won once again with Balloon Boy getting 72% of the vote. Balloon Boy? But Roxy's number one. She has to win. I, I honestly thought okay. I was going to lose that round because obviously Roxy's like, I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> I thought you'd lose that round too, damn it. <laughs> Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to have an evil twin? I'm going with Toy Bonnie because Shadow Shadow Bonnie looks exactly the same. Oh, you're saying Shadow Bonnie is the evil twin of Toy Bonnie? Yes. Yes, I am. And I'll say Shadow Freddy is the evil twin of Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy got that evil twin. They got the same posture. They got the same texture. Well, let's see what the audience voted for. And it looks like AJ, you won that round with Golden Freddy taking 75% of the vote. Ooh, Golden Freddy got that evil twin. I don't understand. Toy Bonnie also has a shadow character. Yes, but Golden Freddy is good. Golden Freddy, okay. They, 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 they the little schema. They got the vengeful ghost and everything. I even lost to the puppet, which was just a random choice. <laughs> 
I don't want to hear it. Bye-bye. Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to be a role model? I'm going to say Eclipse. He is good boy. He takes care of the children and uh, helps the kiddos. The kiddos are going to be looking up to him like, I want to be like you. I got to go with Glam Daddy himself. Glam Rock Freddy. For obvious reasons. But let's see what the people put it. I'm sorry. I swept that one. 87% for Glam Rock Freddy. God damn it. Where are my Eclipse fans? <laughs> Where are you? In my time of need. Apparently it was past their bit. Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to have road rage? I'm going with Monty, because he has major anger issues, and if you cut him off, he's more than likely going to break your car. Oh, you talk about road rage? Who threw herself in front of a goddamn car that was uh, going to cut her off or something? Roxy? Roxy? Roxy races? Hello? You think she wouldn't be getting some of that road rage if she was out on the actual streets? She already shows it to the staff bots. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. But it's not about what we think. Let's see what the audience voted for. And and AJ, you won that round at 71% for Roxy. Hey, yo, there's Roxy. Coming I mean, in to take off some staff bots' heads. Yeah, she uh, she needs to be the best. Gotta be the best. Although Monty breaks everything, so, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, bro, he's not even getting a license. Like, no one will give that man a license. <laughs> no one. That won't stop me because I can't drive. Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to start a cult? Well, cults can be very different different things, but uh, there is someone who already has a little bit of a cult. We just didn't get to know them that well. Rockstar Bonnie all broken up and uh, Bonnie Ball. Not Rockstar, Glamrock. Glamrock Bonnie all like smacked up and Bonnie Ball, he's already got a damn cult of those little pat pats. He's already a cult leader, so he, if he was still around, he'd be a cult leader of those little puppets. For me, Nightmarion. They're evil. They got their hands and anything. They're the true puppet master. Come on, it's got to be Nightmarion. But let's see what the audience voted for. We did not both get swept by the <laughs> random option of Springtrap. Yes, unfortunately, we both lost. Springtrap, really? Glamrock body is surrounded by a cult of little puppets. Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to win a fight? I'm choosing DJ Music Man. He's a 30 foot tall animatronic. Could beat that. You know who I think could beat that? I think the blob could beat that. Tangle? They'd be taking off DJ Music Man's parts and popping them out in them to himself. He also got some little sidekicks that can, you know, you know, help restrain. DJ Music Man's got sidekicks too. Well, let's see what the audience will and AJ, you won that round with the Blob at 72%. Yay, Blob gets to throat slam people. Woo! It's so silly. 11% voting for Nightmare Fredbear, come on. <laughs> Which FNAF animatronic is most likely to love horror movies? I think Funtime Freddy would love the spooks. Have you, he have you heard their voice lines and how they talk? Oh man, they sound like a serial killer and probably would enjoy those kind of movies. For me, I would choose Nightmare Fredbear. Anytime any kind of monster or creature would attack in the movie, he would just get a kick out of it. Plus, he laughs in the games as well. But let's see what the audience voted for. I swept that round with 80% picking Nightmare Fredbear. He doesn't exist! He's just an imagination. <laughs> Freddy is such a sadistic bastard. He would <laughs> love horror movies. He would love them. Which animatronic is most likely to, um, actually somebody? I think it would be Glamrock Freddy. That is a fountain. Yeah, there we go. What is that? Well, that is a fountain. Um, actually, that's a fountain. She gave me my answer. I'm taking it. You know who definitely would be doing that and doing a lot of manipulative kind of shit like that? Baby. I think Baby would definitely be. I'm um, actually to people, uh, whoever was against whatever she she believed okay okay let's see what the people voted for we both got swept again <laughs> god damn it i don't think Why mr the hippo random choice so good though i don't think mr hippo would um actually anybody <laughs> well it, no he has that in one of his voice lines doesn't he i don't know <laughs> i can't remember I, I, I think it's in one of i think it's in one of his stories but he's um actually himself <laughs> so i don't think that counts guys <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Glamrock Freddy's actually done it. Now that the results are in, let's add up the scores and see who won. And the winner by over 100 points, me. <laughs> I win again. God damn it. The undisputed FNAF Family Feud champion. I'll get you next time. If you want that to be next time, press the subscribe button.